everybody, and welcome to episode 180 of the Let's Play World. Between episodes, I did a little bit of playing around over here. You might remember last episode, we moved over here to the jungle, and we started work on our new base over here, and I did a couple of things. One is I tore the lights out of the ceiling because I thought they looked kind of garish, kind of loud, and I put them under some carpet. We brought some green carpet over with us from the base, and I think this looks pretty cool. Matches the jungle theme really nicely. And then did a little accent here. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it, but I want something to add a little bit of decor to some of the doorways. I was looking around here, and man, there's a lot of wildlife. We got us some squids, got us some salmons, there's an ocelot. The parrot? There's an advancement for that. The yeah, panda? You might remember last episode I was talking about how it's funny that we build something and then we just move on and we don't get to hang out and enjoy it. And so I think before we do a lot of exploring, I'm going to finish this base and then we'll use it as kind of our uh, main point of operation to explore this whole area and that way we'll get to hang out here and enjoy it. Something else I realized is I went back and looked and one year ago is when we started work on our tower base way back in February of 2023. So um, yeah that whole project took us about a year and I guess we'll see how long this takes. Today we're going to start off working on this hallway. I've got a little bit of an idea for a design for how to kind of tie this all together. And so we're just gonna start off building a hallway that connects this over to the portal. Okay, let's see how we're doing here. Now when we walk out through this door, we end up in a hallway. Nice big wide hallway, seven blocks across. And if we continue down this hall, and we turn right, we'll have a doorway on the left, and this will go to our portal room. Now of course you have to imagine all this right now because we don't actually have the walls built or anything yet. so. Once we get the walls all built up, this will look very, very cool. And besides the portal room and our main room, I think we're gonna have three or four other spaces. The first one that I want to add today is gonna be right across the hallway from our main room. Right here, I wanna build a storage room. And let's do that in the form of a time lapse. <laughs>
Okay, we're making some progress. So here, right across from our main room, we now have a storage room. Plenty of storage. Have them all kind of stacked up in these little columns. And I think this is gonna serve us fine. Probably more than enough. And as I kind of look at this, there's a couple things I'm thinking. One is it's a little bland, especially the hallway. You know, it's just kind of a big box. So I was thinking of doing carpet in the hallway. And it might be kind of cool, put some glass in the ceiling so we have some natural light and, you know, the ability to see the sky. But in order to get glass, I need sand. Let's fly around a little bit and see if we have maybe a desert nearby. I'm getting low on rockets, so let's grab some rockets. Great. And take our map with us in case we wander around a lot. And uh, yeah, let's see if we can find some sand. It's pretty interesting uh, kind of mountainy terrain, especially once we got way up there. There's like a really cool looking kind of stony peak with some calcite and that kind of thing. Found a tiny bit of sand right next to the village that we ran across. And I kind of raided a bunch of their stuff. They're uh, suffering from rampant unemployment suddenly, but I thought this stuff might come in handy. Got a little bit of sand. Go ahead and pop it in here, hook it up and make some glass.
All right, I am very much liking this. The glass in the ceiling looks really, really good. And the light that it lets in makes a huge difference. I did a similar thing in here. Put a couple of frog lights under the carpet and then skylight. Looks great. Really, really happy with that. Might need to find some cows so we can put some uh, item frames here. I haven't quite moved in yet because I don't want to just create a mess. I want to kind of be organized with it. Got a bit of a ways to go here. The carpet and the glass and all of that. But that is a pretty nice addition to our little uh, outpost. Wrap up today. I think what I want to do see if we can carve a little bit of a staircase down into this ravine here. Cliff walls are pretty flat, so I'm wondering if we can just kind of carve a stairway down. See kind of what happens here. I went back through and kind of replaced the steps with cobble so I could kind of retrace how I got down here because um, it's pretty precarious. It's not a very good staircase, but it gets us all the way up there. And um, it is pretty sketchy down here. Lots of pokey dripstone, lots of mobs. There's the deep slate layer right there. So, um... Yeah, we could potentially do some venturing down here. start on this cave it goes pretty uh pretty far back there lots and lots of mobs and it's starting to get dark so i think i'm gonna head back up yeah we'll have to explore the deep slate layer as well see if there's anything good down there Last order of business, I had asked you in the last episode what we should name our little parrot friend. And the best one I got was Keith. So this here is Keith. If you've got more names for parrots, we'll just have to catch more parrots. Between episodes, I'm going to work on moving into the storage area and getting things organized. And next episode, we'll add even more rooms to our compound. And that's where I'm going to wrap this one up. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you had fun. Please like and subscribe if you want to follow along on the adventure, and I hope to see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.